<laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Now, hang, hang on, on for the loop. I'm Jamie, welcome to The Loop Show. And today we have a very important message for you. <gasps> what is it? Wait. Okay, I will. Will you tell me soon? N no, wait. I am, but I really wanna know what the important message is. That's it, we're talking about waiting and being. Uh, is, is this supposed to be happening here? Uh. So I'm Donna from IT. Uh, Tommy sent me out here to tell you to sit tight. I don't know why, so sit tight. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Tommy. This is my first time on camera. Um, so I'm kind of sweating, you know, a lot. And I uh, <laughs> feel like my mouth is full of moss. <laughs> Got the old moss smell going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I hate to make you wait, but there's nothing I can do to make it go faster. Um, yeah, hey, you know, don't you hate it when someone says that? Nothing I can do to make it go faster! <laughs> it's like, yeah, guy, we know how time works! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any minute. You know, this is taking forever. Get it going here. Okay, I'm not a very patient person. You know, uh, I'm like, give me my yogurt now. I, so I don't, I don't do a fist. That's kind of me. I don't. Sorry, that's I don't do that. Uh, but you know, I'm like, can I get my yogurt? It's like right there. It's right there. Give me my yogurt. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I just gotta. You know, they say you should take deep breaths when you're feeling impatient. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Oh, look, look, hey, there we go. Okay, so phase one's done. Here comes phase two. Uh, we're gonna let that keep loading. Uh, so what else do you need to know about, about me? I'm, I'm, I'm Donna. Uh, I uh, I play alto saxophone. It's fun. I'm not very good. Uh, I I'm in a two-person band. My cat to me. So we have a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I I make microwave my pop tarts. Uh huh. I like them like that. And uh, and I'm fluent in pig Latin. Why do they call it pig Latin? There's no pigs. I I don't know what it is, but uh, I I can. This is aching te or ever thing. See, I'm good, I know it. Um, oh, and guess what? I'm allergic to ducks. Gives me full body hives just looking at the feathers. Blech. Okay, so what else? Uh, oh, look, huh, we're almost back online. So uh, thanks for waiting with me. I get it. Patience is so important because it's so hard to wait. Yeah, think about all the things that we already get instantly. Instant noodles. Uh, Instagram. Amazon Prime. That's one of my favorite ones. Instant entertainment. I mean, if you go to YouTube or you have to wait, like even between binge watching TV shows, like you get angry. But when we're patient, it does pay off. Yeah, wait until the end of this episode and you'll get to see something that we're gonna do here. Here's a little preview. Well, like, you know, they could just like fast forward. Don't, to the... no, don't do that. Be patient, like this. Isn't this nice? Hey guys, one of my favorite books in the Bible is the book of Proverbs. It was written by the wisest man who has ever lived. And in Proverbs 14, he says this, the wise are cautious and they avoid danger, but fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. 
Today we're talking about patience and maybe you're wondering, how can I practice patience? One method that we could use is called the HALT method. The HALT is a handy acronym that reminds us to ask four questions before we make a decision. Now the first letter in the word HALT is H, which leads us to the first question we need to ask ourselves, which is, am I hungry? Now understanding the need to eat is pretty straightforward, but it's not just making sure that we eat, but it's making sure that we eat well so that our body has the right nutrition to be able to operate at its full potential, leading us to make the best decision possible. Now the second letter in our word HALT is A, which leads to the second question that we need to ask, am I angry? It's really good to recognize that anger is a perfectly normal emotion that we feel in life. It's also important to understand that when we are angry, it's going to be very difficult for us to practice patience. The best thing for you to do in that moment is to figure out what is the root cause of your anger. Maybe it's a conversation that you need to have with a person or it's a situation that needs resolution. So we've asked ourselves, am I hungry? Am I angry? And then the third letter is L. And the question, am I lonely? We all have seasons where we just feel alone. Like we're not spending the right amount of time with people. When we feel isolated, alone, lonely, withdrawn, it's important for us to halt and ask ourselves, have I connected with someone who cares about me lately? When you feel alone and withdrawn, pick up the phone and call a friend who cares about you. Reach out to a small group leader or find an event that you can go to and be around people that care about you. Now we talked about hunger, we've talked about being angry, we've talked about being lonely, and the last letter in HALT is T. And you need to ask the question, am I tired? Being tired takes a toll on us, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. And it's easy to do when you're running from home to school, to clubs, to church, to sports. That's why it's so important for us to make sure we're getting the right amount of sleep at night, but also that we are doing things in life that bring us energy, that make us feel refreshed, and recharge every single day. The HALT method is such a great tool that acts as a reminder for us to meet basic needs that we could so easily forget. Because as we're talking about patience, remember that the wise, they're cautious and they avoid danger, but fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. See? We've arrived to the beginning of our challenge. That wasn't so bad. It was so bad. Are you kidding? You don't have to wait any longer because we get to bring in Gary! Yay, it's Gary! Oh, sorry. Welcome, Gary. Uh, thanks. thanks. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. You like to play with dominoes? I do. I love setting them up, toppling them down. That's awesome. And now are these the dominoes that we that we all like know and love? The ones with the, the dots? No. No, oh, no. okay. It's the plain ones that you get to topple down. Amazing. Oh. So fifth grade, Archibald Ramey came to my school. He set up the banquet, which is the domino display, mm -hmm. and he let me hit the fulcrum. So that's oh. the final piece. I knew it. That's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Can we make a, a, a banquet today? I think we should. <gasps> awesome. Let's go. Yay! What if we designed the Loot Show logo in Domino? That'd be so cool. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be hands off as much as I can. Okay. So do we have dominoes? You guys said that you'd have them. What are, what are these? We have more dominoes or? OK. Well, we're going to have to try it with these. I don't know how many more we have, but. Have we'll to be resourceful. Yeah. Sure. OK, so you see that? What are you, what are you oh, doing? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I, I was starting. Sorry, I'll wait. We're going to start with that bottom part of the oh, L. Okay. It's okay. going to wing out. Do you know what I mean when I say wing out? I think so. Do you know what wings are? I've seen them on birds. I have to be hands off. We're, we're trying this out. So is that good? How is that good? <gasps> oh, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll let Ricky What's do it. it. No, 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 you're good. <laughs> so do it like that. See, that's the wing. Okay. Yes, and this is why. So that's winging out. All right. I'll let you go Can for you it, Ricky. Can you guys do that? Okay. Yeah. Come on. What? You're just sitting there. There you go. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> Here, I'll fix it. Yeah. Nobody stress. It's okay, Gary, don't you worry. Yeah. It's gonna be just fine. It's fine, It's everything's fine. Yeah, Ricky and Jamie, if you guys could just work any faster, it'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. Just move this out of the way. Fine. Yeah, now, now you guys have too much space. Can you guys make it? Uh, okay. yeah. No worries. No worries, Gary. Okay, yeah, that's great. Let's just tear it down again, guys. <laughs> awesome. My four-year-old does better than these two. What's happening here? Oh, that's right. We're supposed to be making a shape. Okay. You guys have seen so the loop show, right? Curve it. Now you're making the loop around. We've still got, we've still got like 15 minutes. Okay. <gasps> okay, you know what? Sometimes in life that happens, but it's going to be fine. We're going to I'm set so it back sorry. up. Yeah, but in life it doesn't happen this frequent. Just take that part out and not worry about it and just continue with our little loopy. Can we can we pick those? You want these back up? I think you're impressed. What's gonna happen here? And, oh, because I'm going to continue it through here. Okay, so the domino's gonna magically just get longer. Because uh, it has to go through, because if it is supposed to, like, knock all of them down. Get it out, get it out, It's Come on. supposed to go through there and then yeah. through there, Do you right? actually know what you're talking about? Exactly. Dogging? I know. I actually think that we are making a really beautiful L. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? Say more. Okay. Say so okay. much more. Guys, seriously. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. No. I'll admit. It's not a, it's not a bummer. You yes. guys are failing at this, and Aww. this is something my four-year-old can do. Let's get, go, guys. Just get going. Move it back again. Okay. You guys are adults. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we... Can we actually act like that? It is taking great deal of patience to keep going. Okay, I, that's okay. Oh my. How is that okay? Um, sometimes our friends make mistakes, and we have to be patient okay. with them. Yeah, but sometimes your friends seems like they're sabotaging everything that you're trying to do. Ricky, are you purposely sabotaging this? I am not. I believe you. Thank you. You know what, guys? I. Yeah. I have to, I have to admit something. Yes. I'm not a domino guy. I figured you weren't, you poop head. <laughs> oh, come on. Yay. Dude, yeah. I, I am just so Poor stressed Ricky. out. <laughs> I was just like, just be patient. This whole time, I was a jerk to you. As soon as these dominoes came out and they had the dots on them, I was instant mean man, and you still had patience with me. How did you guys do that? Well, sometimes in life, like, you'll be having a conversation with a friend, and the friend will be kind of mean to you. So along with just being patient, you also have to be forgiving and give grace to your friends when you're having conflict. It's important to, to think before you speak and to handle it the way that God would want you to handle it, and that would be with love. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I mean, I found that yeah, the hard way. You can't control how other people act, but yeah. you can always be in control of like yourself. So yeah. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna focus on being patient. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do what I can. Well, what do you guys think? You guys wanna rock, knock this down? Yes. Go All right, it. let's do it. One, two, three. Ah, great job, Gary. Thanks for being mean. <sighs> Anytime. No thanks. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's a cut. Oh. Let's not clean up anything. Why would please. you do that to us? <laughs> All of you do! No, my anxiety was like, <laughs> oh, gosh. You're just gonna hear nothing but my heart racing. <laughs>
Hey, what's up, Luke? My name is Jesse, and I was just thinking about this whole waiting thing and how, for me, most of the time, waiting actually feels like a punishment. Now, for me, I had to wait for a lot of things in my life, but there's one situation that stands out the most. And that was the time that I found out that my mom was sick. You see, because my mom wasn't able to breathe the way that she was used to, she went into the doctor and through some tests, they were able to find out that her lungs were actually churning hard and they're supposed to be soft. Now the doctors told us things like, we can't stop this, we can't reverse it. We're not even really sure what to do, but what we are willing to do is do some tests and try some medications and see what happens if you'll just wait. And that's exactly what we did. We waited and we prayed and we sought God in that moment. In the Bible, it actually says something about waiting here in Proverbs 14, 16. Let me share that with you really quick. It says, the wise are cautious and avoid danger, but fools rush ahead with reckless confidence. Now, in my waiting, God met us. We grew closer as a family. I learned how to love my mom even better. And I'm happy to say that today, my mom's lungs are actually healed. She can breathe the way that she was created to breathe. And we get to celebrate that with her today and every day. But what I want you to know, Loop, is sometimes God will answer your, your prayers the way that you expect him to. But sometimes he won't, and that's okay. But what I know God will always do is he will give us the wisdom to get through those situations is if we will just wait. Because loop waiting is wise. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Proverbs 14, 16. Okay, so is anything that you told us the truth? Like the fulcrum, is that really a thing? Fulcrum? I mean, it's a real thing, but not, I don't know if it's for dominoes. Tricky, tricky man. <laughs> and then this is not a banquet. That's not a banquet. I just thought that'd be fun to say too. <laughs> you guys did a great job. You were oh, patient Lord. with me. Well, thank you. Yeah, ah. we did try. Remember to use the halt method to avoid danger. There are a lot of things that require us to wait, but waiting is wise. You wanna help us sign off? Yeah, well, until next time. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! Patience is hard, but waiting is absolutely worth it. Waiting is wise. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the time that we got to spend today. I pray that we would feel the weight that you are patient for us and that you are inviting us to develop the wisdom that comes from waiting. That even though we may have rushed in in the past, that you are always there waiting for us with your wisdom, with your love and your grace. And God, I pray that each of us would learn from that example and develop the patience that you're inviting us to still in an attitude of prayer with every head bowed and eye closed. There are others of you that are in here today, and maybe for you, you are hearing this message and you're thinking, man, this sounds great, but it's too late. I've already rushed in, I've already made mistakes, I've already done these things where I've just made a mess of it. The reality is, is that we've all done those things before. We've all made mistakes, those mistakes are called sins. It's anything we do that hurts ourselves, others, or the heart of God, and that sin has created a distance between us and God, but God, he loves you so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, to die for you and to die for me so that we could be made right, that we could be forgiven of our mistakes and we could have a perfect relationship with Him. And God is inviting you to that today. He's inviting you to say yes, putting your faith in His Son, Jesus, to be made completely new, to be forgiven of every sin you've ever made, every mess you've ever been a part of. God is inviting you to move past that and into a relationship with Him. And today, there are those of you who are realizing that's what you've been missing, that's what you need, and that's what you want. If that's you, simply lift your hand right now, saying yes to Jesus today. As hands are going up, we are so proud of you. And we're all gonna pray this prayer out loud together. Repeat after me, dear Jesus, forgive me. I'm turning from my sin. I'm turning toward you. I need your love. I need your grace. And I need your mercy. I give you my life. In Jesus' name, 
Amen and amen and amen. We are so proud of you. For those of you that are making the best choice you could ever make in your life, make sure you tell somebody about it. Tell your friend that brought you, tell your small group leader, because we want to help you understand what it really means to follow Jesus.